Star 4 horse. I'm really excited to go over this trailer. Um, the reason I'm excited about it is because this is different than our typical 4 horse. It's a double tack room. Um, and another reason I'm excited is because this is kind of what we're going to start doing for most of our four horse and five horse inventory units. Um, just because it's been so popular with customers and it just makes sense. It doesn't add a whole lot of length to the trailer. And you get, you know, a bigger tack room. You get double doors if you want to saddle off each side. It just makes a lot of sense. And once we we'll go around, I think you guys will realize that too. Up here underneath the nose. Um, again, this is a custom, I didn't know if I said that or not, but this is a customer order. He custom ordered this. Um, Again, this is sold, but we do have more coming like it because this is going to be the um, model for all our inventory units. But the customer wanted a hydraulic jack up here in front instead of the manual jack. Um, if you have a manual jack on your trailer at home or you're ordering a trailer and maybe want to upgrade to a hydraulic jack, they're super simple. You hit a button, they go up and down. Um, if we do put a hydraulic jack on them, we do do this equalizer system that does have a manual override. Just in case your batteries do die for whatever reason you're traveling, you do have the option to still jack this trailer up and down, that way you're not stranded. To kind of counteract that dead battery thing that I just kind of talked about, up here in the battery box, this is the battery that will run that hydraulic jack. We also, if we're putting a battery on anything that's going to operate like a jack, lights, anything like that, living quarters, we are going to put a battery cut off in there just to again help with those dead battery situations. That way if you're going to park this for a couple days, you turn that off and this battery will drain no power. It'll come back on, you can turn it on, run your jacks, your lights and everything. Just as you normally would, you just don't have to worry about your batteries being dead after leaving this trailer sit for a couple days. Over here behind me, we do have your spare tire. Again, um, this is going to be an aluminum wheel with a matching tire to the rest of the tires and wheels on this trailer. Um, we do that just in case you guys get a flat blowout or anything like that while you're traveling. You put this on and your trailer's still matching and still looking nice. Um, and you're not showing up to a show with like a donut or a steel wheel or anything like that. This trailer's looking just as good as you are going to be for the show as well as your horses you're going to be for the show. Then up here, up here at the coupler, pretty standard what you're just going to see from Cimarron. This is a new style B&W coupler that Cimarron and B&W kind of collab to make. Um, I like it because it's really cool. Most of the time you see a coupler and you have to buy a special coupler lock or a ball lock to get it to lock. The way they designed this one is you can still fit a padlock through there to lock this open or shut or however you want to lock it. And you can still fit a padlock through there and you're not having to buy a special hitch or anything like that. And it's super easy to run. You can run it from the outside of your truck bed because all you do, once you back over it, your ball slide in there, all you have to do is push on that and it'll lock itself versus having to maneuver it around like a normal lever like you would. Coming around to your head side of this trailer, again, like I said, this is a double tack room. So it's gonna have a mirror image tack room on the other side, just like you, just like this side. Um, it's a really cool setup, I really like this. We've done it a couple times, and like I said, we're gonna do it pretty much on all inventory orders moving forward, unless a customer wants something different. So you do have your gas piston swing out saddle rack. Again, this is a four horse for the customer who ordered this one, and two on each side. But these are upgradable. You can put as many as you want on here. You can adjust these to however you see fit, lower or higher. They're a really cool saddle rack system. You can have blanket bars if you want more blanket bars to this as well. But again, it runs off a gas piston. You kind of push it, the piston will start pulling it in a little bit for you. And over here on the door, we do have your swing out uh, blanket bars. So I think it's super cool that, I mean, if you're hauling four horses, you can tie two to the other side, two to this side. Pull your blankets right off this bar real nice. Saddle your horses right here on the head side. You have your swing out saddle rack right there as well. We also did do the fold up steps on both sides of this trailer. As minor as an upgrade they are, um, we feel cost wise, I mean, they run off a gas piston. They don't have to latch while you're traveling. That piston will hold them shut. So just kind of eliminates one more thing rubbing and they are super handy. I mean, they save you that. You can see how big a step it would be to get in that tack room without that step. And it just makes it so easy to be able to drop that step, jump up in your tack room and get done what you need to do. On the door underneath these blanket bars, we do have these brush, brush boxes or spray boxes or whatever you want to call them. Um, again, holding brushes, sprays, tack, boots, anything like that. They do have drains in the bottom of them, as well as they are parti partitioned into thirds. That way if you get a bottle that freezes or breaks or leaks or anything like that, it is going to isolate that to at least a third of that. So that way, you know, most of your stuff is isolated and staying dry if you do have an issue like that. Jumping up in the tack room, again, to make it a double 
double swing out door like this, we do have to add a couple feet of length to this tack room. But again, when you're talking about a four horse, you're not adding, you're adding two feet to about 20 foot. So you're not making this trailer a whole lot longer and you can see how much more space it gives you. It is a fully carpeted gooseneck deck as well as your drop wall. Then over here on this wall, we do have your shelf with clothes rod. Again, this shelf does have a lip. It is rubber lined up there. Whatever you put up there, it can't roll off. It can't slide off because of this two inch lip right here. You can throw hat boxes up there, boot boxes, anything like that. You can get pretty crazy in this trailer and it's all gonna be right where you left it. Below that, we do have a clothes rod again. You're going rodeo and you're going showing. You're not necessarily living in this trailer, but you are going to have to have some slickers, coats, shirts, stuff like that that you are going to need for the show. And that just gives you a place to hang them out of the way. And then down here, we do have a half boot box. So this boot box is half the width of this trailer. Again, storing, you know, boots, hay bags, anything like that that you want out of the way and not rolling around in here while you're traveling. This is a great option for that. Another reason I love doing this option in here is because we talk about it all the time, Cimarron, we order all our Cimarrons with pre-framed AC roofs. Um, so if you look up to the roof of this trailer, there is framing for an AC or a fan or whatever this customer wants to do in the future. So if two years down the road he decides he maybe wants to stay in this a night or two at a long rodeo or a long show or something like that, once that's pre-framed it saves you a lot of labor costs down the road, but it also makes it super easy to just cut that out drop an AC in there and we already have the wiring for power because we have that hydraulic jack on here. It makes it super easy to install an AC or a fan in here. And then with that boot box we just showed you guys, you're having to step up in there if you are sleeping in here as well. So it's a really cool setup that can be you know, versatile and changed down the road as well. I'm gonna jump out this side. And there you go, now we're on the tail side, exact same setup that you guys just saw on that head side of this trailer. Again, you do, we do have this two tier swing out. Again, fully adjustable, you can add more or add more blanket racks. So I mean, you have the option to add, you know, up to 10 saddles in this trailer if you guys wanted to. And it's gonna run off that same swing out system that you saw on the other side. It's also gonna have that swing out blanket bars, just like we saw on the other side. So again, you have the option for eight blankets on this trailer. As it sits right now, four saddles, but it's fully upgradable, fully modular. And then again, we do have that brush box like you guys saw on the other side right there, as well as the matching fold-up step, which I think is crucial to point out on most of these trailers. If you ever come walk a lot and look at trailers, first thing you're gonna notice is most of them have a pretty big jump, especially some older trailers. But the ones you see with these steps, it's just a minor upgrade that I suggest. If you're building the trailer, looking at trailers, it's something you really pay attention to is how big that step up into the tack room or living quarters, whatever it may be. On your tail side, pretty typical um, Cimarron stuff. We do have your big sliding type bus windows. Um, they're big enough that you're gonna be able to maximize your airflow really in these trailers. I think they're bigger than most standard uh, windows you're gonna see in horse trailers, especially for a hip side of a trailer. We do have a 16 inch awning light on this side as well as the other side. Um, again, we talked a little bit about tying horses on each side and be able to saddle and see what you're doing. This is going to give you enough light to do so. Um, you're going to be able to saddle two horses, four horses, whatever you need to do on this side of the trailer, as well as the other side of the trailer. I'll show you guys here in a little bit. With this being a four horse, we do have four tie rings on each side of this trailer, just to give you guys them options. If you want to keep all your horses together, maybe the sun's hitting a good side of the trailer and you want to sun your horses or shade your horses, you have the option to tie all four on either side of this trailer. Down here, again, these are those same wheels and tires that you saw on that spare up front, so they'll be 100% matching. Um, this trailer is on two 7,000 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles, so you're getting a really top notch axle system. As well as these tires are nitrogen filled, you can see that green tab right there. So again, this morning, really crisp morning, it's going to be a warm afternoon. You're not going to see that four to five pound PSI fluctuation that you normally would in these tires. So that just keeps you guys popping in and out of the truck, having to check tires all the time, and having to you know, stop on the side of the road and air tires up or deflate tires if you like running them all the same. And then here is your load side of this trailer. So again, it's a 60-40 setup, giving you guys that option to load with the door half open, full open. If you got a horse that maybe likes to turn around, you can shut this 40 side of the door and give him a little smaller opening so that way when he does jump in, he doesn't have that tendency to want to turn around. Or if you like giving your horses a big you know, target to aim at, you can open both doors and load them in here pretty effectively. So again, like we talked about in most of our videos, if we don't have that 60 setup where we can run a butt bar and it is a little bit longer to where a butt bar might hang up when you're dropping it, we do run this strap. Um, the reason we do this strap, I mean, it's just as strong as a butt bar would be. 
Um, the reason I like running it is because a lot of times when you open this back door, whatever horse is last, they know where you're at, they know you're unloading, and as soon as you open these back doors, they're going to be leaning against whatever's back here trying to get out. And if you go to drop a butt bar out behind them, they can hang a lane behind it, they can hang a hawk on it and get pretty hurt. So we do this strap just because you can unstrap it over here and just drop it. It's going to fall out of the way of your horse and keep you and your horse safe while you're offloading. Of course, it's a Cimarron, so we're going to show you guys the floor. Cimarron makes the strongest floor you can buy in the horse trailer market today. Um, this floor is built on four inch center, so every four inches there is a support beam running across the width of this trailer. So no matter where your horse is standing on the floor of this trailer, they're going to be putting weight directly over a support beam, not in between them. So again, it's a great product Cimarron makes on their flooring system. The strongest floor you can buy in the market today. So we show you guys that in every single Cimarron trailer. Again, it is rubber matted on top of that floor. Um, customer chose rubber mats. That way he can pull them, he can clean this floor out, put them back in pretty easy. Um, running rubber mats in a big open trailer like this is pretty easy. If you want to go one step above these rubber mats, we can worm the floor of this trailer. That way you never have to worry about pulling mats. You get home, you spray the trailer out, you're all good to go. And with that worm, it seals the floor perfectly. That way you never have to worry about your floor rotting underneath those mats. So if you're considering a flooring upgrade, making the Cimarron floor even stronger, I would suggest going worm. Um, but again, as this trailer says, this is the strongest floor you can buy on the market today. Customer went ahead and, you know, most Cimarrons we video, they don't have these pads in here. It doesn't upgrade to pad your dividers with Cimarron. This customer wanted padded dividers in here, so these dividers are padded. We also do have D-rings for feeders in this trailer. Customer didn't order this trailer with feeders, but it's pretty easy to find them. Um, we also have Cimarron feeders available here at our store. If you do want to add it to a Cimarron you have, or if you have another trailer you need some feed bags for, we have that at our shop as well. And then again, your another padded divider. And then, of course, your stud stall in the front of this trailer. I'll show you guys in a little bit, but this trailer does have an escape door. Um, running a stud stall with an escape door, I think, is super important. Just because most of the time you're traveling, roping, rodeo, and showing anything like that. I would say majority of the time in the knot, you're going to have not all four horses in here. You're going to be hauling two, three, maybe four occasionally, but most of the time you're going to be using that is for storage. You're going to be having totes in there, grain in there, hay in there, whatever you need while you're traveling. And by doing a big stud stall like this, it just gives you that option to put everything there and not worry about it rolling underneath your horses while you're traveling. The thing I like about our stud stalls is you'll notice we leave a bit of a gap between the stall and the floor. And that's just in case you do want to run shavings in here. It gives you the option to run shavings. When you're opening and closing this, you're not dragging shavings and piling them up all over your trailer. But again, there is your stud stall. It's a full-size stall, just like the rest of the stalls in this trailer, so you're not getting a smaller stud stall. But again, it's going to give you plenty of room. If you want to haul generators, food, totes, anything like that, you can stack hay all the way to the roof in here and not worry about it falling over into your horses. And then again, we do have the same D-rings that you saw in the other stalls. You can tie hay bags in here, and then we do have your chest bar that your horse can lean against while you're traveling. That way they're not leaning against the door and putting pressure on those outside hinges. So again, Cimarron focuses a lot on the little things. I'll show you guys the super slick uh, chest bar mechanism when we come around the front side of this trailer. It's super cool how Cimarron makes everything fluid for you guys to use in these trailers, not only keep you safe and your horses. Each stall in this trailer is going to have an air vent. Um, they are two-way air vents, so you can situate them to either pull air through this trailer or pull air out of this trailer. So it's super nice to be able to open two of them, get clean air flowing over the backs of your horses, as well as open the rear two of them, getting that air flowing out. That way you're getting consistent, clean, cool air flowing over the backs of your horses the whole time you're traveling. And then again, Cimarron is one of the only trailer manufacturers, I think there's only a couple of them, that when you order a Cimarron trailer, their roof is going to come standard, insulated. One panel is going to cover the whole roof of this trailer, and it is going to be completely insulated for your horses, um, which I think is a super huge, huge thing that you don't have to pay for that upgrade. They just throw it on here. I think they value the comfort of your horses a lot of the times more than more manufacturers do. So with this insulated roof, it's going to keep it about 15% cooler, 15 to 20% cooler back here on average than a normal non-insulated roof trailer. On top of that, you'll notice there is a slight bow in this roof as well. And what that's going to do is keep moisture, water, rain, snow that melts, anything running off this trailer or sitting up there. That way you don't have water sitting at your seals and pooling at your seals and having that opportunity to rot them. On the hip side of this trailer, you will notice we did upgrade the lighting system in this trailer. So these are upgraded Optronic lights um, over your standard Cimarron LEDs. So these are going to put off 
pretty pretty good light for you to be able to drop your front windows, drop your bus windows if you need to while you're traveling, flick your lights on for your horses, and they're going to have plenty of light to see what they're doing while you're traveling. And if you need to check on them, these are going to give you plenty of light to be able to check on them as well. And when they're turned on, they look pretty slick too. So it's a pretty cool upgrade to do in your trailers if that's something you guys are thinking about. And before I jump out, like I always do, I want to talk about the latches in here. Um, Cimarron does a plastic latch with a metal clasp right here. The reason they do that is because metal on plastic wears a whole lot better than metal on metal. And they are actually super quiet. You can see how quiet that shut right there. It's going to ride a lot quieter than your horses. The metal would be clanging around. And this plastic latch is going to hold up, you know, a lot longer than a metal latch would. If you do metal on metal, it tends to chip and wear at each other. Your dividers start coming open after a while. You hit big bumps and you come back here and your dividers going to be wide open. This plastic, it's going to latch a long, long, long time. And again, it's quieter for your horses. They're not going to be spooking in here at stuff clacking and clanging while you're traveling. So I think it's a super cool system Cimarron uses. It's super, super strong. We haven't had an issue with them breaking. Um, and again, it's just going to last a long time. And it keeps that quiet factor down for your horses. Again, Cimarron really, really focuses on the comfort of your horses while you're traveling. Up top, we do have a six inch awning load light. Again, giving you plenty of light while you're loading horses, giving your horses plenty of light to see where their feet are gonna hit when they're jumping and loading this trailer. For also you to see to make sure you're not gonna get ran over, nothing's tangled up while you're loading them before you shut your doors on your horses. Coming around to the head side of this trailer, again, four horse, you're gonna have three big drops and a small drop in your escape door. I wanna show you guys that escape door here in a minute. But again, Cimarron's big, big drop windows, I think are some of the coolest products that we have on these trailers. Um, I know there's a bunch of cool products, but I think these windows are the cool. One of the coolest, I mean, you can move this whole four horse trailer with this window. You don't have to worry about your hinges breaking or, I mean, they, I'll show you guys the hinges. They use big, heavy duty hinges on these Cimarron windows and doors. Um, a lot of times you'll see little smaller hinges on windows. These hinges are massive for these big heavy duty windows and they operate super, super smooth. The thing I like most about them is you can see that every single hinge on this trailer will have a greasable zert. We were just doing it the other day. You can run out here if you get a squeaky door, squeaky window, it takes you two seconds to grease them and that way you're just adding to the life of these windows and doors. They're not getting hung up on you. They're not squeaking and making noise. And they're just a really, really slick window system that Cimarron uses. The reason I like them is because I talk a lot about airflow, and by doing these windows, it gives you the option to really optimize how you want that airflow to be for your horses. You can run them just like this while you're traveling down the road and get plenty of air flowing through your horses. Or if it's a little bit of chillier morning, but you don't want to completely enclose them in and get the heat rolling, you can open this sliding type window right here, close them up, and you're still getting some airflow. Another reason I like those little sliding types is because a lot of times if you are feeding your horses in the trailer, with the windows dropped fully like that, that air can get to whipping some hay around in there and you know, get in your horse's eyes and sinuses and stuff like that. So by being able to do this a little sliding type right there, you can feed them, still get some airflow in there, stop two hours down the road and then drop them for your horses after they're done eating. So it just gives you that option. I also love them because they're super easy to drop your gel bars. And with this being a 610 wide trailer, you can easily jump up on the fender of this trailer feed your horses, check on your horses. I like to tie and untie my horses from the outside, not the inside. Again, just giving you guys that option that if you don't want to be in there while you're loading and tying, you don't have to be. And I talked about it a little bit on the inside. The escape door on this trailer. So there is your escape door. Um, I want to show you guys a super cool chest bar Cimarron does. So a lot of times a chest bar on a horse trailer, you're gonna have two clasps. You might not even have a chest bar at all on some of them. But Cimarron wanted to eliminate that, you know, class mechanism to where you're fighting your horse, fighting the mechanism if you have to. For every, any reason you ever need to get in here, you have a horse in here, there's something like that, all you need to be able to do is hit up on the bottom of this, and this ball just that easily comes out of that socket. You can unload your horse for your emergency situation, or you can just get your stuff out of here if you need to. You don't have to run it with the bar open if you're not having a horse in there, but again, if you do, it is super easy to just undo and redo that ball as it just slides in there. And it's a big heavy duty mechanism holding that bar as well. So I think that's a super cool thing. Again, focusing on the little things that Cimarron does, it makes them a top of the line trailer manufacturer. The other thing I like about Cimarron's escape doors is they do give you a little drop window for your first stalled horse. A lot of times you won't see a window in your first stall, or you will see a window, it'll just be a little sliding pipe like this. It won't be a drop. 
Cimarron matches their other windows. They just can't fit a big window on this escape door. So they do do this little drop, which I think that's super important that if you all are hauling four and you do have one in that front stall, they are giving you the option to really maximize that airflow for that front horse as well, which I think is super important. So again, this is a super cool setup trailer. You do have that double tack entry. You get four horses. We are going to order most of our trailers. Four and five inventories are going to be set up you know, 90% similar to this trailer because we think it's just a super cool option. If you are hauling four, why not give you guys the option to haul a little more tack, have the option to saddle from either side you want. But again, this is a sold unit, but if you want a references for a build you're working on or maybe you want to order one just like this, the stock number for this unit is 5N210. 667. Again, it is a 22 Cimarron North Star. It's a four horse gooseneck. Um, if you're interested in this trailer, maybe some we have coming in that are like this. I know we have a five coming in. We got some threes and fours. We can make them however you want them with Cimarron. So if you're interested in building your own trailer or some we have coming in, go ahead and give us a call. Again, my name is Tanner at TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Phone number is 303-684-3409. Thanks for tuning in.